hey, I've uh, been wanting to start a channel for quite a while, talking about skateboarding, maybe some art, other things like that. But the thing that's really got me off the skateboard, I guess you could say, is these SXLs. Um, I've been riding half cabs for about 20 years, since I was 19 till about 38. And I've decided to switch to a cup sole. I tried the New Balance ones, loved them. Recently, these went on sale. And as a kid, I always wanted a pair, but there was always another shoe that I thought was just a little bit cooler. Um, so when these went on sale, I figured now is the time I give them a shot. Right off the bat, putting them on, they're really puffy. They're really comfortable. They kind of feel like one of those novelty slippers that uh, you wear around the house that someone gets is like maybe looks like a Ninja Turtle. It kind of feels like that. Other than that, the other thing I noticed right away is when I looked down, I thought I was 15 again. And that was pretty funny because sometimes you feel like you fell into a different reality. But nevertheless, I do like the way they feel. I love the way they look. So I'm gonna give them a shot. And maybe a month from now, I'll do an update video on how they're holding up. At this point, they're laced. I've worn them for about a week walking around. So they're good and broken in walking wise to feel like, all right, now I can like kind of start skating them. Um, I've already shoe gooed the laces here. You can kind of see that. Um, the reason is I already know that these laces break like crazy and I know where I like the tightness on my shoe. So I shoe gooed them and they're ready to go. So I'm gonna take them out and go skate. What might set me apart though, is you might call me a psychopath. I'm also gonna skate a brand new board. This is the Frankie Bellani Primitive Egg 9.125, wheelbase 14.375. I've been riding the eggs for quite a while now. It's been about two years. And I range from about, I did an eight and a half egg all the way up to the Curb Killer 4, which is the 10 inch egg. And I've kind of settled in between nine and a half and 9.1. This is a 9.125. And I'm really looking forward to skating this one because um, my local skate shop always has them on like the heroin boards. Kind of, you kind of have to seek those out. These ones, um, my local skate shop always has these, but I'm also riding the Ace Hollows AF1s, which I've also um, put inverted kingpins in. And uh, yeah, they work great. So big Ace fan, we'll see how a new board and new shoes feel. I normally skate slappies and flip tricks, flat ground and boxes. Not really too much else going on there. And the thing is, I really wanted to review the shoe because when I was getting these shoes, I was looking for reviews and I couldn't really find anything um, about the shoes the way I skate, which is slappies, flat, boxes. You know, everything I saw was like people at the skate park and you know, they were much younger than me and they were skating like super hardcore stuff it seemed like no one was really just lazily skating around trying flip tricks and stuff so i thought i'd give it a shot let's check it out update at the spot well we just got to the spot so just gonna do some sweeping and um, probably hit some jump rope and then we'll probably you know wax something up and then we'll see how the shoes do do a quick tour of the curves. Typically before I skate, I like to get like five minutes of jump rope in, maybe some stretch. I just wanted to see these shoes from my point of view so you could see uh, all the nostalgic joy when you look down at your feet. It's like a little time machine. All right, I'm at the curve spot. Uh, we're gonna give these excels and this board of good thorough testing looking forward to trying these out new board new shoes you know how that goes um, I gotta wax up the curve a bit we're gonna do some slappy nose slides maybe some 50 50s maybe we'll get a little bit busy on it if um, if things feel good <laughs> First couple nose slides, the bo the board feels great, and the shoes like I don't even notice how puffy they are. So just keep doing some nose slides, get into some pity pitties.
Shankina really doesn't get too much in the way and doesn't make you feel like you're in an endurance. So let's uh. back from the first session in the Excel OGs. So far, so good. No real wear to be seen. Granted, I only did a few flip tricks, um, but they feel really good. They definitely feel like a slipper on your foot. Um, the construction feels really good. It doesn't feel like they're cheap at all. I can see why people used to skate them. Uh, and yeah, I really like the first session and we'll see how long they last. Going to a cup sole from skating Volk for so many years is a little bit of an adjustment. Grip wise, the Volk always felt a little superior to the cup, but cup sole is feeling really good and, and I really don't have an issue with it. Um, definitely surprised by their performance or how they skated. I was able to get my kick flips right off the bat, got a switch flip, I got a 360 flip. It all just felt really good. First day on the board was really good. The primitive board worked out really well. Here it is. Got some good slappies on it. The only thing that I was bummed out about was the grip tape. I don't know if you can see it from here, but the grip tape started chunking. Um, you know, that's really annoying because it's brand new grip tape. I, I have a suspicion it's because mob is perforated and those little holes in them can cause it to rip. Now, I could be wrong, maybe I just got a bad batch that had like some little tears in it already, but you know, we'll see how it goes. That might annoy me enough to have to just switch out boards because I typically, straight black on the grip tape, don't like rips, a lot of scuffs or dirt. Um, since I do slappies all the time, I get a lot of wax on the board. Luckily, with the dirt that you pick up on your shoe, the black top, those wax spots turn black as well. So yeah, uh, back on topic, the Excels were great. I loved them. I'm definitely going to be skating them now for about a month, maybe two, and we'll see how they hold up. If they get super floppy and they start falling apart, I'll be bummed on them. But right off the bat, looking down at my feet really takes me back to like my childhood. And I'm excited to see how they do. Maybe they'll be my go-to shoe for another 20 years. We'll see. Thanks for watching.